In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the powerful Excel translate function. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet and let's pretend that this spreadsheet was generated using a Microsoft Forms form. And in this example, this is a form that I put out on the internet asking for suggestions from viewers of one of my other YouTube channels, the Synth Pop Reviews YouTube channel. And suggestions came from all over the world. Some of these are in English, some are in Spanish, some are in Italian all of these other languages that maybe I don't understand. I can use the Excel translate function to help me with this. Let's take a look. In cell E2, I'm gonna click and compose my Excel formula. I'll type in equals translate left parenthesis and you can see what Excel is expecting. It needs some text. I could type that text, but that would be time consuming. So instead, I'm just going to click where the text is. So here it is at the left. I click on D2. I put in my comma. Next, it's asking for a source language, and then I could put a comma and put in the target language. In this case, though, I'm actually going to delete the comma and put in a right parenthesis. If you choose to leave out the source language and target language, Excel will do its best. It will look at the language that's here, try to figure it out, what language it is, and then it will put here, in this case in cell E2, whatever language is in your system settings. So for my computer, my system settings are set to English. So I'll put in the right parenthesis, tap enter, and Excel is now busy translating. Now, of course, the source here was already in English, so it ended up translating from English to English. But look what happens. If I click on cell E2 and double click on the little green fill handle in the lower right corner, it's a little tiny square. I'll just double click on that and look what it does. It copy pastes whatever is in cell E2 all the way down my data set. And because E2 has a formula in it, translate D2, that's what it's extending all the way down my data set. It's not copy pasting organized virtual concerts for your subscribers all the way down because that's not really in E2. This is in cell E2. So it's extending that formula all the way down the spreadsheet, looking at each of these suggestions in the original language and then translating them into English. What a beautiful result I have here. Now there are times when just the default translate that Excel tries to do won't work. And that may happen if the original language uses some slang or uses some other non-standard language. So there really are times when you will want to specify the source language. So I'm gonna go down here to cell E10. I speak Spanish and so I can recognize that this is in Spanish. So I'm gonna click here on E10 and I'll type equals translate left parenthesis. Here's the text comma. What's the source language? Now here you can either browse through a list of about a hundred different languages and find the language that you're looking for. Or if you already know the language code, you can just type it in. So I'm looking for Spanish. There it is. So the code is ES in quotation marks. I'll put in a comma. Now what's the target language? I want this to be turned into English. In this case, I know what the language code is. It's EN in quotation marks. I should put in my right parenthesis, tap enter, and Excel translates this Spanish text into English. So like I said, there are times when you really will get better results if you specify the source language and specify the target language. Now it's time for me to share with you one additional Excel function that is related to Translate that's going to be very useful to you and that is detect language. What if you don't know what the source language is? For example, I am not exactly sure what language this is, so I can't specify what the source language is in my formula. In cases like this, you can use the detect language function. So let's do that. Here in cell E2, I'm gonna click, I'll type equals, translate, left parenthesis, and I'll select my text here on D2, comma, and I'll put in a space here, and I'm gonna type detect language. So this is a different Excel function, and what it does is it asks Excel to examine the text here and make a good guess about what the language is. So detect language, left parenthesis. Now the text, what text do I want it to examine? This text here, so I click on D2, right parenthesis, comma, 
and then I want to turn whatever that language is into English. So in quotation marks, I'll put EN, write parenthesis, tap enter. And again, this is already in English, so not much happened. But if I double click on the fill handle here in the lower right corner, initially it looks like it just copy pastes the results, but it didn't. It copy pasted the formula. Excel is using the detect function to guess what language this is, and then it's putting it into English. All right, in this video, I've shown you three different ways to use the Excel translate function. The first method is the simplest, and it works in most cases. Just equals, translate, left parenthesis, select the text, right parenthesis, tap enter, and Excel will do its best. The second way is to specify the languages. But what about in this case when there's so many different languages from cell to cell? In those cases, you may want to use the detect language function to figure it out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the very best way to do that is to become a channel subscriber. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic super techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for what you do to support the channel. It's because of you that I can continue to make these videos on my weekends and evenings. So I just want to say I really appreciate what you do to support the channel.